Hello kindergarten, it is Mrs. Merritt from Citizenship Academy. Today we're going to do module 3, lesson 16. And our objective is I will make informal comparison of area. Now that seems like a really big objective, so let's break it down. It means we're going to be able to look at a space and figure out if something can fit in that space just by looking at it. But you know, in math, we always have to test our answers. So we're going to use our yes and no symbols today. And you're going to tell me like, hmm, can it fit in there? Yes or no. And then we're going to test it out to see. So let's get started. So I want you to think, how many cubes would you need to cover this card? So here's the size of the cube, and here's the card. Is the cube smaller or bigger? It's smaller. And so if it's smaller, it means it can probably fit in there, right? Like, let me try one. Does one cube fit in it? Yeah. So we want to think about how many cubes can fit in there. Go ahead, pause me, and think about how many cubes you think can fit in there in the card. How many did you come up with? Shout out your number. <gasps> wow, I heard so many different numbers. So, now let's think. Do you think one cube can fit in there? Yeah, we see it right here. So one cube can fit, but we will need to add more to cover the whole card. Now, when I talk about area, you want to take your space and make the most use of it. So you're not going to put a cube here and another one here and one up there. What you're going to do is you're going to put them next to each other. Just like when we measure and we want accuracy, we're going to put our cubes next to each other to get our most accurate answer. So help count. Help me count. We have one, two, three, four. Five. Now, can I put another one over here? No, that would be over the card and that would be too big. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is my card covered? Yeah. And I know the image has shifted a little, so they're not perfectly straight. But if we moved these over, um, we would be able to make sure this guy got on the, um, the card as well evenly. So how many cubes did it take to cover that card? 20. Very good. But I have a question. If our cubes would, were bigger, would we need more or less? We would need less of them if they're bigger. Because if our cubes took up more space on the card, um, you would need less of them. Very good. Okay. Now we have two shapes. Can anyone name them? We have a square, which has four sides, and a circle, which has no sides. 
Does a circle fit in the square? Show me a yes or a no. Let's try it out. Does the circle fit in the square? Yes, one circle will fit in the square. What if I wanted to add another circle to this square? You think it would fit? What if I moved this over? Do these circles fit in the square? No, only one circle can fit in the square. If you go any, um, if you go any higher for this shape or for this size circle and this size square, if you go, if you have any more than one, you're gonna go over the edges of the square and it's not gonna work. Okay, do we think the smaller square will fit in the bigger square? Yeah. Let's try it out to see if there's enough space. Is there enough space? Yes. Do you think five of them will fit? I see some yeses, I see some noes, and I see some maybes. So let's try it out. One. Two. Now remember, we want them right next to each other, right? Three. Four. Five. Do five smaller squares fit in the bigger square? Yeah, do you think there's space for just one more? Yes, there is. Okay, we're going to keep adding one more square until the box is, or the square is full. Keep going. Can I add another row? No, look it. It goes over the red square. The blue goes over the red. So let's count how many squares, little blue squares, fit in the big red square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, this is weird. So we had one circle that fit in the red square, and the same red square nine little squares fit? Yes, that is because the circle was bigger. It took up more area. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab something around your house, like a piece of paper, and I want you to draw some different shapes on that paper. And then take a paper the same size and draw a different shape. And I want you to see if more of that shape fit or less of that shape fit. You're gonna find that different shapes take up different amounts of space or different area. So today you saw that you can make informal comparisons of area. And it sounded like such a big objective, but you did a really great job. You realized that different shapes take up different amounts of space. So your challenge is to go find a piece of paper and draw some different shapes or find something around the house that you can put on that piece of paper. I have some bears, and I have some big bears, and some small bears. So I have a big bear, and a small bear. If I put these on the paper, they're not gonna, there's not gonna be the same amount of bears on each paper, because one is bigger and one is smaller. They both take up different amounts of area. Great job today, and I will see you tomorrow.